everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous videos, we have discussed power function rule, constant function rule and linear function rule. In this video, we'll be discussing addition rule of differentiation. Now, so rule number four, addition rule. Now, let's see if we have y is equal to u plus v, where u and v are differentiable functions of, they are functions of x. So, dy by dx in this case will be equal to du by dx plus dv by dx. And this becomes a addition rule of differentiation. Now, using this rule, let's look at few examples. So, in this case, we have y is equal to x cube plus x raised to 8. We need to find the derivative of this. So, we have seen that. So, we have seen now that when y is equal to u plus v, then we have dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx and here u and v are differentiable functions of x. Now using this addition rule of differentiation we will solve this. Now let's say we can consider this as u and we can consider this as v. So, in this case, we have dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx. So, in this case, our u is, I'll write over here. Now, in this case, our u is x cube. So, we have u is equal to x cube. So, du by dx in this case is equal to what? Now, this is, uh, we'll use power function rule of differentiation. So, what we have seen is, given y is equal to x raised to n, then our dy by dx is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. In this case, n is equal to 3. So, what do we get is 3 x raised to n is 3. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, 3 minus 1 in this case du by dx is equal to 3 x raised to 2. So, this becomes a du by dx. Now, Let's see uh, what do we get for dv by dx. Now, using the same formula, in this case, our v is x raised to 8. So, dv by dx in this case is equal to, again using the same formula, that when y is equal to x raised to n, our dy by dx is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. So, this was our power function rule. Now, in this case, our n is 8. So, we have 8 x raised to 8 minus 1 because n minus 1. Now, dv by dx is equal to 8 x raised to 7. So now, since we have already found out du by dx and dv by dx, now our dy by dx is equal to du by dx is 3x square plus 
dv by dx is 8x raised to 7. And this becomes a derivative. Now, let's look at another example. So, we have y is equal to 7 x raised to 4 plus x raised to 9 plus 6x plus 11. Again, we'll be using addition rule of differentiation which states that when y is equal to u plus v, we have dy by dx as du by dx plus dv by dx where u and v are differentiable functions of x. Now, in this case, we have four terms. How are we going to differentiate this? So, dy by dx will be equal to what? Let's say this term is u, this term is v, this term is w, and let's say this term is z. Now, in this case, our dy by dx will be equal to du by dx plus dv by dx plus dw by dx plus dz by dx. Now, let's say, I'll write this terms over here. Let's say, in our first case, we see that 7x raised to 4. In this case, du by dx will be equal to what? This will be equal to 7 and then we have differentiation of x raised to 4 because 7 is a constant term. Now, x raised to 4, how are we going to find derivative of this? Now, we'll use this formula. When y is equal to x raised to n, then our dy by dx will be equal to nx raised to n minus 1. In this case, we have n is equal to 4. So, our du by dx will be equal to 7 into, now our n is equal to 4. So, we have 4 x raised to 4 minus 1 is 3. So, in this case, our du by dx will be equal to 7 fours are 28 x raised to 3. So, we have seen that. So, in this case, our du by dx is 28 x raised to 3. Similarly, we will be calculating dv by dx, dw by dx and dz by dx. Now, our v is equal to x raised to n. So, in this case, dv by dx is equal to, in this case, we have n is equal to 9. So, using that formula, what do we get is 9 x raised to 9 minus 1. So, that is equal to 9 x raised to 8. So, dv by dx, what do we have is 9 x raised to 8 plus. Now, we have w. So, w is equal to 6x. In this case, dw by dx is equal to 6 differentiation of x. In this case, using that formula, uh, when we have y is equal to x raised to n, then we have the derivative as nx raised to n minus 1. So, in this case, we have n is equal to 1. So, dw by dx is equal to 6 
that is equal to 6. Now here n is equal to 1. So we have 1 x raised to, now 1 minus 1 is 0. In this case, we have 6 into 1. Why? Because x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So we have 6. So dw by dx we get 6. Now we have 11. So 11 is a constant term and derivative of a constant is always 0. So dz by dx is 0. So what do we get as? dy by dx is equal to 28 x raised to 3 plus 9 x raised to 8 plus 6. So we have derivative as this. So we have seen how simply we can solve these examples. So that's it for this video. In our subsequent videos, we'll be seeing other rules of differentiation as well. So do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.